Hi, um, yeah, I'm Dr. Carl Cole. I'm a GP in Papatoe Family Doctors. I'm also uh, spend half my time working in health informatics, mostly in ProCare PHO as a clinical director for information and at various consulting uh, roles. Um, I got involved at e-referrals because I just knew it had to happen. I was a long time and very sick of having to print off to fax or fax directly from my computer to a great abyss without any acknowledgement of where um, those patients' referrals went until I got something back weeks later. Sometimes we um, didn't even get any received uh, any referral um, back and we found out the, the facts had been lost and it was a very hard mandrolic process to account for that. So uh, knowing a lot about technology, I've been waiting for a long time for something like this to happen to allow us to improve our service really. Obviously, if any beginning of any new process, there's some disadvantages, and we just uh, try and make sure that the process improvements or advantages outweigh the disadvantages. There's been slowness problems, um, integration problems, and once it's working, though, it's like getting uh, electronic records or results. You just think, how did you ever manage before when it was paper? Um, getting the instant acknowledgement that has been received at the end, it's like you know you've at least done your job, is fantastic. Um, the ability to then quickly go through the referrals under each section you refer to and then realise, oh, that's actually a urology referral, not a renal physician referral because urology look after macroscopic hematuria is a nice prompt um, just to make sure you are not the cause of um, any slowness in referrals. Um, I love the idea that it's centralised pathways, therefore if it's changed we don't have to update each PMS out in the, um, in the system. Um, and no one's out of date in terms of how they're following their referral pathways. Um, what is the most exciting, I think, disruptive thing electronic referrals will allow us to do is to actually update from a recent consult. So you can talk to a specialist, um, this has happened since you saw this patient, um, what do you think, and get a, a virtual consult, well, a real-time consult, but without having to get the patient to turn up to outpatients again, see a registrar who doesn't know the patient and doesn't know what's going on. So if it's linked in with what's happening with localities and uh, the, the work around having teams around teams, we can actually then stop the old fashioned method and following the old rules because we have this new technology that allows us to have more conversations around our patients and keep the GPs informing the specialists and keeping the, um, the feedback loop being that much faster.